Section one of Al Que Quiere in eighteen more poems. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Al Que Quiere in eighteen more poems by William Carlos Williams. Section one. Subterra. Where shall I find you, you my grotesque fellows that I seek everywhere to make up my band? None, not one with the earthly tastes I require, their burrowing pride that rises subtly as on a bush in May. Where are you this day, you my seven-year locusts, with cased wings? Ah, my beauties, how I long, that harvest that shall be your advent, thrusting up through the grass, up under the weeds answering me that shall be satisfying the light shall leap and snap that day as with a million lashes oh i have you yes you are about me in a sense playing under the blue pools that are my windows but they shut you out still there in the half light for the simple truth is that though i see you clear enough you are not there it is not that it is you you i want God, if I could fathom the guts of shadows, you to come with me, poking into negro houses with their gloom and smell, in among children leaping around a dead dog, mimicking onto the lawns of the rich, you to go with me a tiptoe, head down under heaven, nostrils lipping the wind. Pastoral. When I was younger, it was plain to me, I must make something of myself. Older now, I walk back streets, admiring the houses of the very poor, roof out of line with sides, the yards cluttered with old chicken wire, ashes, furniture gone wrong, the fences and outhouses built of barrel staves and parts of boxes, all, if I am fortunate, smeared a bluish green that properly weathered pleases me best of all colors. No one will believe this a vast import to the nation. Chicory and Daisies 1. Lift your flowers on bitter stems, chicory. Lift them up out of the scorched ground. Bear no foliage, but give yourself wholly to that. Strain under them, you bitter stems, that no beast eats and scorn grayness. Into the heat with them. Cool, luxuriant, sky blue. The earth cracks and is shriveled up. The wind moans piteously. The sky goes out if you should fail. 2. I saw a child with daisies for weaving into the hair, tear the stems with her teeth. Metric figure. There is a bird in the poplars. It is the sun. The leaves are little yellow fish swimming in the river. The bird skims above them. Day is on his wings. Phoebus. It is he that is making the great gleam among the poplars. It is his singing outshines the noise of leaves clashing in the wind. Woman Walking In a bleak cloud of purple smoke across a milky silhouette of house sides and tiny trees, a little village that ends in a saw edge of miscovered trees on a sheet of gray sky. To the right, jutting in a dark crimson corner of roof, to the left half a tree what a blessing it is to see you in the street again powerful woman coming with swinging haunches breast straight forward supple shoulders full arms and strong soft hands i felt them carrying the heavy basket i might well see you oftener and for a different reason than the fresh eggs you bring us so regularly yes you young as i with bony brows kind gray eyes and a kind mouth you walking out toward me from that dead hillside i might well see you oftener gulls my townspeople beyond in the great world are many with whom it were far more profitable for me to live than here with you these were about me calling calling and for my own part i answer them loud as i can but they, being free, 
pass i remain therefore listen for you will not soon have another singer first i say this you have seen the strange birds have you not that sometimes rest upon our river in winter let them cause you to think well one of the storms that drive many to shelter these things do not happen without reason and the next thing i say is this i saw an eagle once circling against the clouds over one of our principal churches easter it was a beautiful day three gulls came from above the river and crossed slowly seaward oh i know you have your own hymns i have heard them and because i knew they invoked some great protector i could not be angry with you no matter how much they outraged true music you see it is not necessary for us to leap at each other and as i told you in the end the gulls moved seaward very quietly appeal you who are so mighty crimson salamander hear me once more i lay among the half-burned sticks at the edge of the fire the fiend was creeping in i felt the cold tips of fingers o oh, crimson salamander give me one little flame one that i may bind it protectingly about the wrist of him that flung me here here upon the very centre this is my song in harbour surely there among the great docks is peace my mind there were the ships moored in the river go out timid child and snuggle in among the great ships talking so quietly maybe you will even fall asleep near them be lifted into one of their laps and in the morning there is always the morning in which to remember it all of what they are gossiping god knows and god knows it matters little for we cannot understand them yet it is certainly of the sea of that there can be no question it is a quiet sound rest that's all i care for now the smell of them will put us to sleep presently smell it is the sea water mingling here into the river at least so it seems perhaps it is something else but what matter the sea water it is quiet and smooth here how slowly they move little by little trying the hawsers that drop and groan with their agony yes it is certainly of the high sea they are talking winter sunset then i raised my head and stared out over the blue february waste to the blue bank of hill with stars on it and strings and festoons but above that one opaque stone of a cloud just on the hill left and right as far as i could see and above that a red streak then icy blue sky it was a fearful thing to come into a man's heart at that time that stone over the little blinking stars they had set there. Apology Why do I write today? The beauty of the terrible faces of our non-entities stirs me to it. Colored women, day workers, old and experienced, returning home at dusk, in cast-off clothing, faces like old Florentine oak. Also, the set pieces of your faces stir me, leading citizens, but not in the same way. Pastoral The little sparrows hop ingenuously about the pavement, quarreling with sharp voices over those things that interest them, but we who are wiser shut ourselves in on either hand, and no one knows whether we think good or evil. Meanwhile, the old man who goes about gathering dog lime walks in the gutter without looking up and his tread is more majestic than that of the episcopal minister approaching the pulpit on a sunday these things astonish me beyond words love song daisies are broken petals are news of the day stems lift to the grass tops they catch on shoes part in the middle leave root and leaves secure black branches carry square leaves to the woods top they hold firm break with a roar show the white your moods are slow 
the shedding of leaves and sure the return in may we walked in your father's grove and saw the great oaks lying with roots ripped from the ground m b winter has spent the snow out of envy but spring is here he sits at the breakfast table in his yellow hair and disdains even the sun walking outside in spangled slippers he looks out there is a glare of lights before a theatre a sparkling lady passes quickly to the seclusion of her carriage presently under the dirty wavy heaven of a borrowed room he will make re-inhaled tobacco smoke his clouds and try them against the sky's limits tract i will teach you my townspeople how to perform a funeral for you have it over a troop of artists unless one should scour the world you have the ground sense necessary see the hearse leads i begin with a design for a hearse for christ's sake not black nor white either and not polished let it be weathered like a farm wagon with gilt wheels this could be applied fresh at small expense or no wheels at all a rough day to drag over the ground knock the glass out my god glass my townspeople for what purpose is it for the dead to look out or for us to see how well he is housed or to see the flowers or the lack of them or what to keep the rain and snow from him he will have a heavier rain soon pebbles and dirt and what not let there be no glass and no upholstery pew and no little brass rollers and small easy wheels on the bottom my townspeople what are you thinking of a rough plain hearse then with gilt wheels and no top at all on this the coffin lies by its own weight no wreaths please especially no hothouse flowers some common memento is better something he prized and is known by his old clothes a few books perhaps god knows what you realize how we are about these things my townspeople something will be found anything even flowers if he had to come to that so much for the hearse for heaven's sake though see to the driver take off the silk hat in fact that's no place at all for him up there unceremoniously dragging our friend out to his own dignity bring him down bring him down low and inconspicuous i'd not have him ride on the wagon at all damn him the undertaker's understrapper let him hold the reins and walk at the side and inconspicuously too then briefly as to yourselves walk behind as they do in france seventh class or if you ride hell take curtains go with some show of inconvenience sit openly to the weather as to grief or do you think you can shut grief in what from us we who have perhaps nothing to lose share with us share with us will be money in your pockets go now i think you are ready promenade number one well mind here we have our little son beside us a little diversion before breakfast come we'll walk down the road till the bacon will be frying we might better be idle a poem might come of it oh be useful save annoyance to flossie and besides the wind it's cold it blows our old pants out makes us shiver see the heavy trees shifting their weight before it let us be trees an old house a hill with grass on it the baby's arms are blue come move be quieted two so we'll sit here now and throw pebbles into this water trickle splash the water up splash it up sonny laugh hit it there deep under the grass see it splash ah mind see it splash it is alive throw pieces of broken leaves into it we'll pass through no yes just 
away now for the cows but it's cold it's getting dark it's going to rain no further three oh then a wreath let's refresh something they used to write well of two fern plumes strip them to the mid-rib along one side bind the tips with a grass stem bend and intertwist the stalks at the back so ah now we are crowned now we are a poet quickly a bunch of little flowers for flossie the little ones only a red clover one blue heel all a sprig of bone set one primrose a head of indian tobacco this magenta speck and this little lavender home now my mind sonny's arms are icy i tell you and have breakfast el hombre it's a strange courage you give me ancient star shine alone in the sunrise toward which you blend no part hero fool put your adventures into those things which break ships not female flesh let there pass over the mind the waters of four oceans the airs of four skies return hollow-bellied keen-eyed hard a simple scar or two little girls will come bringing you roses for your buttonhole libertad igualidad fraternidad you sullen pig of a man you force me into the mud with your stinking ash cart brother if we were rich we'd stick our chests out and hold our heads high it is dreams that have destroyed us there is no more pride in horses or in rain holding we sit hunched together brooding our fate well all things turn bitter in the end whether you choose the right or the left way and dreams are not a bad thing cantara the old black man showed me how he had been shocked in his youth by six women dancing a set dance stark naked below the skirts raised round their breasts bellies flung forward knees flying while his gestures against the tiled walls of the dingy bathroom swished with ecstasy to the familiar music of his old emotion Moher, old black persian cat was not your life already cursed with offspring we took you for rest to that old yankee farm so lonely with so many field mice in the long grass and you returned to us in this condition o black persian cat summer song wanderer moon smiling a faintly ironical smile at this brilliant dew moistened summer morning a detached sleepily indifferent smile a wanderer's smile if i should buy a shirt your color and put on a tie sky blue where would they carry me love song sweep the house clean hang fresh curtains in the windows put on a new dress and come with me the elm is scattering its little loaves of sweet smells from a white sky who shall hear of us in the time to come let him say there was a burst of fragrance from black branches. Foreign. Artsy Bashev is a Russian. I am an American. Let us wonder, my townspeople, if Artsy Bashev tends his own fires as I do, gets himself cursed for the baby's failure to thrive, loosens windows for the woman who cleans his parlor, or has he neat servants in a quiet library an intellectual wife perhaps and no children an apartment somewhere in a back street or lives alone or with his mother or sister i wonder my townspeople if artsy bashev looks upon himself the more concernedly or succeeds any better than i in laying the world i wonder which is the bigger fool in his own mind these are shining topics my townspeople but hardly of great moment a prelude i know only the bare rocks of today and these lies my brown seaweed green quartz veins bent through the wet shale and these lie my pools left by the tide quiet 
forgetting waves on these stiffened white starfish on these i slip barefooted whispers of the fishy air touch my body sisters i say to them history one a wind might blow a lotus petal over the pyramids but not this wind summer is a dried leaf leaves stir this way then that on the baked asphalt the wheels of motor cars rush over them gas smells mingle with leaf smells o oh, sunday day of worship the steps to the museum are high worshippers pass in and out nobody comes here today i come here to mingle faience dug from the tomb turquoise colored necklaces and belched wind from the stomach delicately veined basins of agate cracked and discolored in the stink of stale urine enter elbow in at the door men women simpering clay fetish faces counting through the turnstile ah two this sarcophagus contained the body of yorish nai priestess to the goddess mut mother of all run your finger against this edge here want the chisel and think of an arrogance endured six thousand years without a flaw but love is an oil to embalm the body love is a packet of spices a strong smelling liquid to be squirted into the thigh no love rubbed on a bald head will make hair and after love is a lice-comber gnats undung the chisel is in your hand the block is before you cut as i shall dictate this is the coffin of yoresh nai priestess to the sky goddess built to endure forever carve the inside with the image of my death in little lines of figures three fingers high put a lid on it cut with mud bending over the earth for my headpiece and in the year to be chosen i will rouse the lid shall be lifted and i will walk about the temple where they have rested me and eat the air of the place ah these walls are high this is in keeping three the priestess has passed into her tomb the stone has taken up her spirit granite over flesh who will deny its advantages your death water spilled on the ground the water will mount again into rose leaves but you would hold life still even as a memory when it is over benevolence is rare climb about the sarcophagus read what is writ for you in these figures hard as the granite that has held them with so soft a hand the while your own flesh has been fifty times through the guts of oxen read the rose tree will have its donor even though he give stingily the gift of some endures ten years the gift of some twenty and the gift of some for the time a great house rots and is torn down some give for a thousand years to men of one face some for a thousand to all men and some few to all men while granite holds an edge against the weather judge then of love four my flesh is turned to stone i have endured my summer the flurry of falling leaves is ended lay the finger upon this granite i was well desired and fully caressed by many lovers but my flesh withered swiftly and my heart was never satisfied lay your hands upon the granite as a lover lays his hand upon the thigh and upon the round breasts of her who is beside him for now i will not wither now i have thrown off secrecy now i have walked naked into the street now i have scattered my heavy beauty in the open market here i am with head high and a burning heart eagerly awaiting your caresses whoever it may be for granted is not harder than my love is open runs loose among you i arrogant against death i who have endured i warn against the years five but it is five o'clock come life is good enjoy it a walk in the park while the day lasts i will go with you look 
this northern scenery is not the nile but these benches the yellow and purple dust the moon there these tired people the lights on the water are not these jews and ethiopians the world is young surely young and colored like a girl that has come upon a lover will that do winter quiet limb to limb mouth to mouth with the bleached grass silver mist lies upon the back yards among the outhouses the dwarf trees pirouette awkwardly to it whirling round on one toe the big tree smiles and glances upward tense with suppressed excitement the fences watch where the ground has humped an aching shoulder for the ecstasy dawn ecstatic bird songs pound the hollow vastness of the sky with metallic clinkings beating color up into it at a far edge beating it beating it with rising triumphant ardor stirring it into warmth quickening in it a spreading change bursting wildly against it as dividing the horizon a heavy sun lifts himself is lifted bit by bit above the edge of things runs free at last out into the open lumbering glorified in full release upward songs cease good night in brilliant gaslight i turn the kitchen spigot and watch the water splash into the clean white sink on the grooved drain board to one side is a glass filled with parsley crisp green waiting for the water to freshen i glance at the spotless floor a pair of rubber sandals lie side by side under the wall table all is in order for the night waiting with a glass in my hand three girls in crimson satin pass close before me on the murmurous background of the crowded opera it is memory playing the clown three vague meaningless girls full of smells and the rustling sound of cloth rubbing on cloth and little slippers on carpet high school french spoken in a loud voice parsley in a glass still and shining brings me back i take my drink and yawn deliciously i am ready for bed dance russe if i when my wife is sleeping and the baby and kathleen are sleeping and the sun is a flame white disc in silken mists above shining trees if i in my north room dance naked grotesquely before my mirror waving my shirt round my head and sing softly to myself i am lonely lonely i was born to be lonely i am best so if I admire my arms, my face, my shoulders, flanks, buttocks, against the yellow drawn shades, who shall say I am not the happy genius of my household? Portrait of a Woman in Bed There's my things dry in the corner, that blue skirt joined to the gray shirt. I'm sick of trouble. Lift the covers if you want me and you'll see the rest of my clothes, though it would be cold lying with nothing on. I won't work, and I've got no cash. What are you going to do about it? And no jewelry. The crazy fools. But I've my two eyes and a smooth face, and here's this. Look, it's high. There's brains and blood in there. My name's Robitza. Corsets can go to the devil, and drawers along with them what do i care my two boys they're keen let the rich lady care for them they'll beat the school or let them go to the gutter that ends trouble this house is empty isn't it then it's mine because i need it well i won't starve while there's the bible to make them feed me try to help me if you want trouble or leave me alone that ends trouble the county physician is a damned fool, and you can go to hell. You could have closed the door when you came in. Do it when you go out. I'm tired. Virtue. Now? Why? Whirlpools of orange and blue flame 
feather twists of chrome on a green ground bundling down upon the steaming phallus head of the mad sun himself black and crimson now why it is the smile of her the smell of her the vulgar inviting mouth of her it is oh nothing new nothing that lasts in eternity nothing worth putting out to interest nothing but the fixing of an eye concretely upon emptiness come here are cross-eyed men a boy with a patch men walking in their shirts men in hats dark men a pale man with little black moustaches and a dirty white coat fat men with pudgy faces thin faces crooked faces slit eyes gray eyes black eyes old men with dirty beards men in vests with gold watch chains come end of section one Section 2 of Al Que Quiere and 18 More Poems. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Al Que Quiere and 18 More Poems by William Carlos Williams. Section 2 Conquest dedicated to f w hard chilly colors straw gray frost gray the gray of frozen ground and you o oh sun close above the horizon it is i hold you half against the sky half against a black tree trunk icily resplendent lie there blue city mine at last rimming the banked blue gray and rise indescribable smoky yellow into the overpowering white portrait of a young man with a bad heart have i seen her only through the window across the street if i go meeting her on the corner some damn fool will go blabbing it to the old man and she'll get hell he's a queer old bastard every time he sees me you'd think i wanted to kill him but i figure it out it's best to let things stay as they are for a while at least it's hard giving up the thing you want most in the world but with this damn pump of mine liable to give out she's a good kid and i'd hate to hurt her but if she can get over it it'd be the best thing keller geigen dam witness would you one more young man in the evening of his love hurrying to confession steps down a gutter crosses the street goes in at a doorway opens for you like some great flower a room filled with lamplight or whirls himself obediently to the curl of a hill some wind dancing afternoon lies for you in the futile darkness of a wall set stars dancing to the crack of a leaf and leaning his head away snuffs secretly the bitter powder from his thumb's hollow takes your blessing and goes home to bed witness instead whether you like it or not a dark vinegar smelling place from which trickles the chuckle of beginning laughter strikes midnight smell o oh, strong ridged and deeply hollowed nose of mine what will you not be smelling what tactless asses we are you and i bony nose always indiscriminate always unashamed and now it is the souring flowers the bedraggled poplars a festering pulp on the wet earth beneath them with what deep thirst we quicken our desires to that rank odor of a passing springtime can you not be decent can you not reserve your ardors for something less unlovely what girl will care for us do you think we continue in these ways must you taste everything must you know everything must you have a part in everything ballet are you not weary great gold cross shining in the wind are you not weary of seeing the stars turning over you and the sun going to his rest and you frozen with a great lie that 
leaves you rigid as a knight on a marble coffin and you higher still robin untwisting a song from the bare top twigs are you not weary of labor even the labor of a song come down join me for i am lonely first it will be a quiet pace to ease our stiffness but as the west yellows you will be ready here in the middle of the roadway we will fling ourselves round with dust lilies till we are bound in their twining stems we will tear their flowers with arms flashing and when the astonished stars push aside their curtains they will see us fall exhausted where wheels and the pounding feet of horses will crush forth our laughter sympathetic portrait of a child the murderer's little daughter who is barely ten years old jerks her shoulders right and left so as to catch a glimpse of me without turning round her skinny little arms wrap themselves this way then that reversing about her body nervously she crushes her straw hat about her eyes and tilts her head to deepen the shadow smiling excitedly as best as she can she hides herself in the full sunlight her cordy legs writhing beneath the little flowered dress that leaves them bare from mid-thigh to ankle why has she chosen me for the knife that darts along her smile the ogre sweet child little girl with well-shaped legs you cannot touch the thoughts i put over and under and around you this is fortunate for they would burn you to an ash otherwise your petals would be quite curled up this is all beyond you no doubt yet you do feel the brushings of the fine needles the tentative lines of your whole body prove it to me so does your fear of me your shyness likewise the toy baby cart that you are pushing and besides mother has begun to dress your hair in a knot these are my excuses Repost. love is like water or the air my townspeople it cleanses and dissipates evil gases it is like poetry too and for the same reasons love is so precious my townspeople that if i were you i would have it under lock and key like the air or the atlantic or like poetry the old men old men who have studied every leg show in the city old men cut from touch by the perfumed music polished or fleece skulls that stand before the whole theatre in silent attitudes of attention old men who have taken precedence over young men and even over dark-faced husbands whose minds are a street with arc lights solitary old men for whom we find no excuses i bow my head in shame for those who malign you old men the peaceful beer of impotence be yours pastoral if i say i have heard voices who will believe me none has dipped his hand in the black waters of the sky nor picked the yellow lilies that sway on their clear stems and no tree has waited long enough nor still enough to touch fingers with the moon i looked and there were little frogs with puffed out throats singing in the slime spring strains in a tissue-thin monotone of blue-gray buds crowded erect with desire against the sky tense blue-gray twigs slenderly anchoring them down drawing them in two blue-gray birds chasing a third struggle in circles angles swift convergings to a point that bursts instantly vibrant bowing limbs pull downward sucking in the sky that bulges from behind plastering itself against them in packed rifts rock blue and dirty orange but hold hard rigid jointed trees the blinding and red-edged sun blur creeping energy concentrated counterforce weld sky buds trees rivets them in one puckering hold sticks through pulls the whole counter-pulling mass upward to the right locks even the opaque not yet defined ground in a terrific drag that is loosening the very tap roots on a tissue-thin monotone of blue-gray buds 
two blue-gray birds chasing a third at full cry now they are flung outward and up disappearing suddenly trees crooked black tree on your little gray black hillock ridiculously raised one step toward the infinite summits of the night even you the few gray stars draw upward into a vague melody of harsh threads bent as you are from straining against the bitter horizontals of a north wind there below you how easily the long yellow notes of poplars flow upward in a descending scale each note secure in its own posture singularly woven all voices are blent willingly against the heaving contrabass of the dark but you alone warp yourself passionately to one side in your eagerness the portrait in grays will it never be possible to separate you from your grayness must you be always sinking backward into your gray-brown landscapes in trees always in the distance always against a gray sky must i be always moving counter to you is there no place where we can be at peace together and the motion of our drawing apart be altogether taken up i see myself standing upon your shoulders touching a gray broken sky but you weighted down with me yet gripping my ankles move laboriously on where it is level and undisturbed by colors invitation you who had the sense to choose me such a mother you who had the indifference to create me you who went to some pains to leave hands off me in the formative stages i thank you most for that perhaps but you who with an iron head first fiercest and with strongest love brutalized me into strength old dewlap i have reached the stage where i am teaching myself to laugh come on take a walk with me divertimiento miserable little woman in a brown coat quit whining my hand for you we'll skip down the tin cornices of main street flicking the dull roof lawn with our toe tips hop clear of the bank a pinwheel round the white flagpole and i'll sing you the while a thing to split your sides about johann sebastian bach the father of music who had three wives and twenty-two children january morning sweet one i've discovered that most of the beauties of travel are due to the strange hours we keep to see them the domes of the church of the paulus fathers and we walk in against a smoky dawn the heart stirred are beautiful as st peter's approached after years of anticipation two though the operation was postponed i saw the tall probationers in their tan uniforms hurrying to breakfast three and from basement entries neatly coiffed middle-aged gentlemen with orderly moustaches and well-brushed coats four and the sun dipping into the avenue streaking the tops of the irregular red houselets and the gay shadows dropping and dropping five and a young horse with a green bed-quilt on his withers shaking his head bared teeth and nozzle high in the air six and a semicircle of dirt-coloured men about a fire bursting from an old ash-can seven and the worn blue car rails like the sky gleaming among the cobbles eight and the rickety ferry-boat arden what an object to be called arden among the great piers on the ever new river put me a touchstone at the wheel white gulls and we'll follow the ghost of the half moon to the northwest passage and through at albany for all that nine exquisite brown waves long circlets of silver moving over you enough with crumbling ice crusts among you the sky has come down to you lighter than tiny bubbles face to face with you his spirit is a white gull with delicate pink feet 
and a snowy breast for you to hold to your lips delicately ten the young doctor is dancing with happiness in the sparkling wind alone at the prow of the ferry he notices the curdy barnacles and broken ice crusts left at the ship's base by the low tide and thinks of summer and green shell crusted ledges among the emerald eel grass eleven who knows the palisades as i do knows the river breaks east from them above the city but they continue south under the sky to bear a crest of little peering houses that brighten with dawn behind the moody water-loving giants of manhattan twelve long yellow rushes bending above the white snow patches purple and gold ribbon of the distant wood what an angle you make with each other as you lie there in contemplation thirteen work hard all your young days and they'll find you too some morning staring up under your chiffronne at its warped basswood bottom and your soul out among the little sparrows behind the shutter fourteen and the flapping flags are at half mast for the dead admiral fifteen all this was for you old woman i wanted to write a poem that you would understand for what good is it to me if you can't understand it but you got to try hard but well you know how the young girls run giggling on park avenue after dark when they ought to be home in bed well that's the way it is with me somehow to a solitary disciple rather notice mon cher that the moon is tilted above the point of the steeple than that its color is shell pink rather observe that it is early morning than that the sky is smooth as a turquoise rather grasp how the dark converging lines of the steeple meet at the pinnacle perceive how its little ornament tries to stop them see how it fails see how the converging lines of the hexagonal spire escape upward receding dividing sepals that guard and contain the flower observe how motionless the eaten moon lies in the protecting lines it is true in the light colors of morning brownstone and slate shine orange and dark blue but observe the oppressive weight of the squat edifice observe the jasmine lightness of the moon dedication for a plot of ground this plot of ground facing the waters of this inlet is dedicated to the living presence of emily richardson welcome who was born in england married lost her husband and with her five-year-old son sailed for new york in a two-master was driven to the azores ran adrift on fire island shoal met her second husband in a brooklyn boarding-house went with him to puerto rico bore three more children lost her second husband lived hard for eight years in st thomas puerto rico san domingo followed the oldest son to new york lost her daughter lost her baby seized the two boys of the oldest son by the second marriage mothered them they being motherless fought for them against the other grandmother and the aunts brought them here summer after summer defended herself here against thieves storms sun fire against flies against girls that came smelling about against drought against weeds storm tides neighbors weasels that stole her chickens against the weakness of her own hands against the growing strength of the boys against wind against the stones against trespassers against rents against her own mind she grubbed this earth with her own hands domineered over this grass plot blackguarded her oldest son into buying it lived here fifteen years attained a final loneliness and if you could bring nothing to this place but your carcass keep out k mcb you exquisite chunk of mud kathleen just like any other chunk of mud especially in april curl up round their shoes 
when they try to step on you, spoil the polish. I shall laugh till I am sick at their amazement. Do they expect the ground to be always solid? Give them the slip, then. Let them sit in you, soil their pants. Teach them a dignity that is dignity, the dignity of mud. Lie basky in the sun, then, fast asleep. Even become dust on occasion. Love Song I lie here thinking of you. The stain of love is upon the world. Yellow, 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 it eats into the leaves, smears with saffron the horned branches that lean heavily against a smooth purple sky. There is no light, only a honey-thick stain that drips from leaf to leaf and limb to limb, spoiling the colors of the whole world. You far off there, under the wine-red selvage of the west. The Wanderer, a Rococo Study. Advent. Even in the time when as yet I had no certain knowledge of her, she sprang from the nest, a young crow, whose first flight circled the forest. I know now how, then, she showed me her mind, reaching out to the horizon. She, close above the treetops, I saw her eyes straining at the new distance, and as the woods fell from her flying, likewise they fell from me as I followed, so that I strongly guessed all that I must put from me to come through ready for the high courses. But one day, crossing the ferry with the great towers of Manhattan before me, out on the prow with the sea wind blowing, I had been wearying many questions, which she had put on to try me. How shall I be a mirror to this modernity? when lo in a rush dragging a blunt boat on the yielding river suddenly i saw her and she waved me from the white wet and mist of her playing she cried me hiya here i am son see how strong my little finger is can i not swim well i can fly too and with that a great seagull went to the left vanishing with a wild cry but in my mind all the persons of godhead followed after clarity Come, cried my mind, and by her might that was upon us we flew above the river, seeking her, grey gulls among the white, in the air speaking as she had willed it. I am given, cried I, now I know it. I know now all my time is forspent. For me one face is all the world, for I have seen her at last, this day, in whom age and age is united, indifferent, out of sequence, marvelously, saving alone that one sequence which is the beauty of all the world for surely either there in the rolling smoke spheres below us or here with us in the air intercircling certainly somewhere here about us i know she is revealing these things and as gulls we flew and with soft cries we seemed to speak flying it is she the mighty recreating the whole world this the first day of wonders she is attiring herself before me, taking shape before me for worship, a red leaf that falls upon a stone. It is she of whom I told you, old forgiveness, unreconcilable, that high wanderer of byways, walking imperious in beggary, at her throat is loose gold, a single chain from among many, on her bent fingers are rings from which the stones are fallen. Her wrists wear a diminished state. Her ankles are bare. Toward the river, is it she there? And we swerve clamorously downward. I will take my peace in her henceforth. Broadway It was then she struck from behind in mid-air as with the edge of a great wing, and instantly down the mists of my eyes there came crowds walking, men as visions with expressionless animate faces empty men with shell-thin bodies jostling close above the gutter hasting nowhere and then for the first time i really saw her really scented the sweat of her presence and fell back sickened ominous old painted with bright lips and lewd jew's eyes her might strapped in by a corset to give her age youth perfect in her will to be young she had covered the godhead to go beside me 
silent her voice entered at my eyes and my astonished thought followed her easily well do their eyes shine do their clothes fit these live i tell you old men with red cheeks young men in gay suits see them dogged quivering impassive well are these the ones you envied at which i answered her marvellous old queen grant me power to catch something of this day's air and sun into your service that these toilers after peace and after pleasure may turn to you worshippers at all hours but she sniffed upon the words warily yet i persisted watching for an answer to you horrible old woman who know all fires out of the bodies of all men that walk with lust at heart to you o mighty crafty prowler after the youth of all cities drunk with the sight of thy archness all the youth that come to you you having the knowledge rather than to those uninitiate to you marvellous old queen give me always a new marriage but she laughed loudly a new grip upon those garments that brushed me in days gone by on beach lawn and, and forest may i be lifted still up and out of terror up from before the death living around me torn up continually and carried whatever way the head of your whim is a burr upon those streaming tatters but the night had fallen she stilled me and led me away patterson the strike at the first peep of dawn she roused me i rose trembling at the change which the night saw for there wretchedly brooding in a corner from which her old eyes glittered fiercely go she said and i hurried shivering out into the deserted streets of patterson that night she came again hovering in rags within the filmy ceiling great queen bless me with thy tatters you are blessed go on hot for savagery suck me air i went into the city out again baffled on to the mountain back into the city nowhere the subtle everywhere the electric a short bread line before a hitherto empty tea shop no questions all stood patiently dominated by one idea something that carried them as they are always wanting to be carried but what is it i asked those nearest to me this thing heretofore unobtainable that they seem so clever to have put on now why since i have failed them can it be anything but their own brood can it be anything but brutality on that at least they're united that at least is their bean soup their calm bread and a few luxuries but in me more sensitive marvellous old queen it sank deep into the blood that i rose upon the tense air enjoying the dusty fight heavy drink were the low sloping foreheads the flat skulls were the unkempt black or blonde hair the ugly legs of the young girls pistons too powerful for delicacy the women's wrists the men's arms red used to heat and cold to toss quartered beeves and barrels and milk cans and crates of fruit faces all knotted up like burls on oaks grasping fox snouted thick-lipped sagging breasts and protruding stomachs rasping voices filthy habits with the hands nowhere you everywhere the electric ugly venomous gigantic tossing me as a great father his helpless infant till it shriek with ecstasy and its eyes roll and its tongue hangs out i am at peace again old queen i listen clearer now abroad never even in a dream have i winged so high nor so well as with her she leading me by the hand that first day on the jersey mountains and never shall i forget the trembling interest with which i heard her voice in a low thunder you are safe here look child look open mouth the patch of road between the steep bramble banks the tree in the wind the white house there the sky speak to men of these concerning me for never while you permit them to ignore me in these shall the full of my freed voice come grappling the ear with intent 
never while the air's clear coolness is seized to be a coat for pettiness never while richness of greenery stands a shield for purient minds never permitting these things unchallenged shall my voice of leaves and very coloured bark come free through at which knowing her solitude i shouted over the country below me waken my people to the boughs green with ripening fruit within you wake to the myriad sink foil in the waving grass of your minds wake into the silent phoebe nest under the ease of your spirit but she stooping nearer the shifting hills spoke again look there see them there in the oat field with the horses see them there bowed by their passions crushed down that have been raised as a roof beam the weight of the sky is upon them under which all roof beams crumble there is none but the single roof beam there is no love bears against the great firefly at this i looked up at the sun then shouted again with all the might i had but my voice was a seed in the wind then she the old one laughing seized me and whirling about bore back to the city upward still laughing until the great towers stood above the marshland wheeling beneath the little creeks the mallows that i picked as a boy the hackensack so quiet that seemed so broad formerly the crawling trains the cedar swamp on the one side all so old so familiar so new now to my marvelling eyes as we passed invisible sooth say eight days went by eight days comforted by no nights until finally would you behold yourself old beloved i was pierced yet i consented gladly for i knew it could not be otherwise and she behold yourself old sustained in strength wielding might and gripped surges not bodying the sun in weak leaps but holding way over rockish men with fern free fingers on their little crags their hollows the new atlas to bear them for pride and for mockery behold yourself old winding with slow might a vine among oaks to the thin tops leaving the leafless leaved bearing purple clusters behold yourself old birds are behind you you are the wind coming that stills birds shakes the leaves in booming polyphony slow winning high amid the knocking of boughs evenly crescendo the din and bellow of the male wind leap then from forest into foam lash about from low into high flames tipping sound the female chorus linking all lions all twitterings to make them nothing behold yourself old as i made to answer she continued a little wistfully yet in a voice clear-cut good is my overlip and evil my underlip to you henceforth for i have taken your soul between my two hands and this shall be as it is spoken st james grove and so it came to that last day when she leading by the hand we went out early in the morning i heavy of heart for i knew the novitiate was ended the ecstasy was over the life begun in my woolen shirt and the pale blue necktie my grandmother gave me there i went with the old queen right past the houses of my friends down the hill to the river as on any usual day any errand alone walking under trees i went with her she with me in her wild hair by santiago grove and presently she bent forward and knelt by the river the passaic that filthy river and there dabbling her mad hand she called me close beside her raising the water then in cupped palm she bathed our brows wailing and laughing river we are old you and i we are old and by bad luck beggars lo the filth in our hair our bodies stink old friend here i have brought you the young soul you long asked of me stand forth river and give me the old friend of my revels give me the well-worn spirit for here i have made a room for it and i will return to you forthwith the youth you have long asked of me stand forth river and give me the old friend of my revels and the filthy passaic consented 
then she leaping up with a fierce cry enter youth into this bulk enter river into this young man then the river began to enter my heart eddying back cool and limpid into the crystal beginning of its days but with the rebound it leaped forward muddy then black and shrunken till i felt the utter death of its rottenness the vile breath of its degradation and dropped down knowing this was me now but she lifted me and the water took a new tide again into the older experiences and so backward and forward it tortured itself within me until time had been washed finally under and the river had found its level and its last motion had ceased and i knew all it became me and i knew this for double certain for there whitely i saw myself being borne off under the water i could have shouted out in my agony at the sight of myself departing forever but i bit back my despair for she had adverted her eyes by which i knew well what she was thinking and so the last of me was taken then she be mostly silent and turning to the river spoke again for him and for me river the wandering but by you i leave for happiness deep foliage the thickest beeches though elsewhere they are all dying tallest oaks and yellow birches that dip their leaves in you mourning as now i dip my hair in memorial of me in memorial of him in memorial of these our promises here shall be a bird's paradise they sing to you remembering my voice here the most secluded spaces for miles around hallowed by a stench to be our joint solitude and temple in memory of this clear marriage and the child i have brought you in the late years live river live in luxuriance remembering this our son in remembrance of me and my sorrow and of the new wandering End of section 2section three of al que quiere and eighteen more poems this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit LibriVox.org. al que quiere and eighteen more poems by william carlos williams section three a friend of mine well, Lizzie Anderson, seventeen men and the baby hard to find a father for. What will the good father in heaven say to the local judge if he does not solve this problem? Does one with a little two-pointed smile change the law, poof, into a mouthful of phrases? The Gentleman I feel the caress of my own fingers on my own neck as I place my collar and think pityingly of the kind women i have known to be closely written on a small piece of paper which folded into a tight lozenge will fit any girl's locket lo the leaves upon the new autumn grass look at them well the sloughing wind some leaves hang late and some fall before the first frost so goes the tale of winter branches and old bones. Epitaph An old willow with hollow branches slowly swayed his few high bright tendrils and sang, Love is a young green willow shimmering at the bare wood's edge. Spring O oh, my gray hairs, you are truly white as plum blossoms. Stroller I've seen the hills blue, I've seen them purple, and it is as hard to know the words of a woman as to straighten the crumpled branch of an old willow. Memory of April You say love is this, love is that, popular tassels, willow tendrils, the wind and the rain comb, tinkle and drip, tinkle and drip, branches drifting apart, hark! love has not even visited this country 
Broken Windows Burkett and the Stars A day on the boulevards, chosen out of ten years of student poverty. One best day out of ten good ones. Burkett in high spirits. Ha! Oranges! Let's have one! And he made to snatch an orange from the vendor's cart. Now so clever was the deception, so nicely timed to the full sweep of certain wave summits, that the rumor of the thing has come down through three generations, which is relatively forever. The Young Laundryman Ladies, I crave your indulgence for my friend Wu Ki. Young, agile, clear-eyed, and clean-limbed, his muscles ripple under the thin blue shirt, and his naked feet, in their straw sandals, lift at the heel, shift, and find new postures continually. Your husband's shirts to wash, please, for Wu Ki. Time, the hangman. Poor old Abner, poor old white-haired nigger, I remember when you were so strong. You hung yourself by a rope round the neck in Doc Hollister's barn to prove you could beat the faker in the circus and it didn't choke you. Now your face is in your hands, and your elbows are on your knees, and you are silent and broken. Complete Destruction it was an icy day. We buried the cat, then took her box and set match to it in the backyard. Those fleas that escaped earth and fire died by the cold. The poor, by constantly tormenting them with reminders of the lice in their children's hair, the school physician first brought their hatred down on him. But by this familiarity they grew used to him, and so at last took him for their friend and adviser. Play Subtle, clever brain, wiser than I am, by what devious means do you contrive to remain idle? Teach me, O oh Master. Lines Leaves are gray-green, the glass broken bright green. The Dark Day A three-day long rain from the east, an interminable talking, talking of no consequence, patter, 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 Hand in hand little winds blow the thin streams aslant. Warm distance cut off, seclusion. A few passers-by, drawn in upon themselves, hurry from one place to another. Winds of the white poppy, there is no escape. An interminable talking, talking, talking. It has happened before. Backward, backward, backward. Thursday. I have had my dreams like others, and has come to nothing, so that I remain now carelessly with feet planted on the ground, and look up at the sky, feeling my clothes about me, the weight of my body and my shoes, the rim of my hat, air passing in and out at my nose, and decide to dream no more. Man in the Room here no woman, nor man besides, nor child, nor dog, nor bird, nor wasp, nor ditch pool, nor green thing. Color of flower, blood bright, bury none, nor flame rust on leaf, nor pink gall sting on stem, nor staring stone. Hi they me, no hawthorn's white thorn tree here, nor lawn of buttercups, nor any counterpart. Bed, book backs, walls, floor, flat pictures, desk, clothes box, litter of paper scrawls. So I sit here, so stand, so walk about. Beside the flower white tree, not so lonely I. Torn petals, dew wet, blotched yellow, my bare instep. End of section three. And of Alke Kieri and eighteen more poems by William Carlos Williams.